Today we have Ken Larson, who is the founder and president of Z9 Security. Ken, thank you so much for being here today. Well, thanks, Fazia. Thanks for having me. Um, Imran Corporation and Z9 have been working together for a long time on a number of different projects. And, uh, and our most recent collaboration has to do with uh, Imran implementing the, uh, the Z9 Open architecture for Panel. So I'm really excited to talk with you more about that. Ken, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Z9 does? Yes, well, Z9 Security, we're behind the scenes in the industry, um, building technologies, um, software, APIs, integrations, really for hardware and software vendors. So we don't necessarily, we don't have an end user or customer facing brand. Um, we help make everything work together on the back end. And a real focus, you know, in the past few years has been on on interoperability between hardware and software and really trying to solve uh, the problem of so, so much proprietary equipment in the industry and the amount of uh, time and effort it's taking all of these hardware and software companies um, to be integrated with mm -hmm. each other. Right, and I, I think that lends to uh, the open platform uh, in the industry. I think open um, in the past, maybe a decade or so ago, was defined as being one hardware platform that could uh, integrate to various software platforms so the customer would have a choice of which software platform to go. Um, however, I think that definition has evolved and changed, especially now. Uh, in terms of what openness today is taking on a whole new meaning, and could you shed some light uh, as to what that is today? Well, your description is absolutely correct, Fazia, in that, yes, once upon a time in the industry, there was no interoperability, and then along comes a hardware vendor with an API, and is very successful with that uh, by uh, getting multiple software vendors to use that, and so that was open for the time, and What's happened now is, and, and that was very successful for a lot of companies, um, but as time has gone on and our industry has become more aligned with the broader software industry, the idea of what is open and what is interoperable, you know, that, that bar has is raised. And so we're looking at trying to go beyond just the idea of a single hardware vendor with multiple software integrations, which basically you do end up with hardware lock-in in that case. Um, to one where you don't have hardware lock-in, where software vendors can choose from um, hardware vendors and hardware vendors can choose from software vendors. So I, I like to think of it as, you know, the way we've been, um, because of that now other hardware companies have also come out with APIs. And in the meantime, creating a kind of a treadmill of integrations that all the software companies, uh, Imran Corporation included, have had to do. Um, I like to think of it as, you know, if you, if you imagine a matrix of sort of hardware and software, um, with hardware along one side and software along the other side, there's all these points to be connected, right? Mm -hmm. And so if you if you imagine that there's like 100 hardware platforms and 100 software platforms or something like that, right? That's like 10,000 points that have to be connected with like like a man year each. It's, it's, it's a lot of work and, and, and it, it never gets um, completed. And so the solution to that in the software world, in the modern software world is, well, okay, but if we have an interoperability standard, everybody integrates once into the ecosystem, and then you have, you know, the ecosystem here, and then you've got 100 integrations going out one side, and 100 going out outside, it's a total of 200 instead of 10,000, and it's a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal savings of uh, time and effort. So, so yes, that's, that's the next level of interoperability and openness that, that we're trying to bring our industry to. Oh, great. Yeah, because it, um, like, if, if you were to look at it, it's just like going from one to one to one to many, and you instantly adopt all these uh, different platforms. Like so, for us uh, with our flagship product called Unity IS, we've adopted all these different hardware platforms that um, are part of the Z9 ecosystem, and this gives customers a choice um, or many choices in terms of what they want to deploy at different locate, you know, at different points in their site. Right, a, a, an external door. Uh, you had mentioned um, uh, previously encryption and and things of that nature. So then a door doesn't just become a door. It now has uh, uh, options, various options from one to the other. Right. I, I think what what you're saying is that you you want to be able to offer choice to your customers because every deployment is different, and and the security needs the cost and convenience and security trades are different for every deployment. It's something that people outside the industry don't really understand. There's sort of security or no security. Right. And really the security 
level uh, and the cost really needs to depend on what is being protected there. So there's mm -hmm. some lower security exterior doors, you know, like a lobby door of a hotel versus, you know, high security bank vaults. There's everything in between. And, and, and which technologies get deployed really depends uh, on that. Right, exactly. And, and giving customers that kind of choice and those kind of options really allows them to implement what actually fits better for what their needs are and requirements are. So um, going back to Z9, uh, what is your roadmap moving forward? Well, an important part of our roadmap is, is expanding uh, the the open the Z9 open ecosystem to for, to include more hardware partners. Okay, and so we are talking with a number of uh, vendors who are have just come out with a, a new panel or they're about to come out with a new panel, and they're very excited to talk to us because they realize that could shorten their time to mark time to market. There's the time to market to get the panel available for sale, but then there's the time to market of having actual integrations with software, and that can often be like five years for a new hardware platform. Mm -hmm. So so we can shorten that drastically down to months. Um, and so so we're talking with a lot of those companies. And so we're looking forward to seeing the, you know this year a, a few new panels coming out on the market um, in, in our uh, ecosystem. Also, I, I might add on a roadmap is, you know, a, a lot one way that a lot of these panels uh, end up in the ecosystem is they're running Z9 firmware that we provide. We provide ready-made components that are compliant. And that also gives us the amazing ability to add new features to these panels. Yeah. So I, I would say a lot of there's there's a lot of equipment that's been out in in the market for a long time, for a decade plus. And let's just say their feature development kind of slows down. And so mm -hmm. you see now more modern use cases with um, uh, you know with everything from mobile credentials, you know, now people, you know, there's there's AI and facial right. recognition exactly. and geolocation. There's right. all this new cool stuff that's coming out. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the panels on the market are, are kind of old and don't have any ability or inclination to, to, to add native support for that. So that's one of the things we're really excited about is by having an ecosystem where we're actually providing a lot of these components, we can actually make it do new, new things, uh, new tricks. Oh, that's fantastic. And we're uh, at Imran Corporation looking forward to adding those additional hardware platforms and again, going to the line of uh, implementing all these features that are included with the panels, what you put into the panels, and then ultimately giving uh, customer choices and options uh, that suits best for what their requirements are. So Ken, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you, Fazia. It's been a pleasure. And I'm really looking forward to you know, uh, the next integration and the next integration and, and to see where we take all of this. Absolutely. Thank you.